I just returned from a trip to Ireland and I picked up a few little beauty items and I thought I would share them with you today. Some of these things I've tried before, some of them are new to me, so I will talk you through my favorite European beauty products. One thing I was definitely on the hunt for while I was in Ireland was the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. So I've used cleansing balms in the past. I've heard this is one of the holy grail ones. It was rather pricey, but that's okay. It smells amazing. If you don't know how a cleansing balm works, you take a little scoopful, rub it on your face dry, and then you can either wipe it off with a hot face cloth or a muslin cloth. Muslim? Muslin cloth. Or you can also splash it off with water and towel dry, as tends to be the American way. This actually does come with a little cloth. I don't know where mine is. It's hanging around here somewhere. But um, I tend to use it both ways. Sometimes I'll wipe it off and other times I will just splash my face clean. It's amazing at removing makeup. So I've only used it a few times, but so far, A+. Plus. I also picked up the Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion, which is a product I have used before. I think I actually got this about three years ago when I was in Europe. And I had a hard time finding it again when I ran out anywhere in the States, but basically it's kind of like a lotion, you apply it, actually it's not a lotion, it's a liquid. It's like totally liquidy. And you apply it to cotton pads, and sometimes I use it after removing my makeup with something like this. It's very soothing. Eye Bright is actually an herb. I think it's some kind of plant that's supposed to be good for your eyes and has soothing properties. I don't know how much of this actually has the Eye Bright extract in there, but it includes Eye Bright, witch hazel and aloe vera to cool, soothe, and revitalize tired eyes. So I also use this sometimes in the morning if I wake up and my eyes feel like dry or sort of irritated or whatever, I'll apply this to cotton pads and just kind of leave it on there for a couple minutes and feel refreshed after. Next I picked up out of necessity because I ran out of the SPF that I brought with me, the Vici Ideal Soleil SPF 50 um, Skin Perfecting Velvety Cream. And this did say it was for normal to drier skins. There is a similar version that I think is for normal to oily skin. So I picked up the one for dry skin. And I do have to say it is a little bit shiny. I'm wearing it under my makeup today. And I thought it might be nice to use on days when I am wearing foundation to kind of give more of a dewy look to my foundation. So it's kind of working for that. My only complaint is it did have a little bit of pilling, but that could be the combination of this with other skincare products I have. Not quite sure, but when I'm wearing no makeup, I also really like this. But it definitely does give that dewy glow to the face, so if you prefer matte sunscreens, this is probably not for you. I also like to purchase SPF products in Europe because they do have more approved ingredients than we do in the US to go into sun care products. So I was happy to purchase my replacement SPF in Ireland. Another product for the face. This is the Embryolisse. These I think are French products by the way. None of these are particularly Irish brands. But so this is a French brand. This is the Embryolisse Cream Creme Riche Hydratant. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> This is the Embryolisse Rich Moisturizing Cream. So this is sort of like a makeup artist favorite that I've heard about for years and haven't ever tried. It's just a face moisturizer. It's a really good base for going under makeup. And one of my favorite things is the scent. It smells like really nice floral, kind of like jasmine, I think. I don't know, gardenia. It smells divine. So this is also a really nice base for makeup if you're not looking for SPF. Pretty sure you can get this in the States in some places though. Not all of this is exclusively not available in the US, this is just stuff that I picked up while I was in Europe. Next up, we have these mini Biodermas. So this actually came in like a little Christmas set of three. I gave the other one to my sister who lives in Dublin. So I took these two home. This is just a regular Bioderma. This is in micellar water. It's also a great makeup remover. So this is another one of those things where after I've used a cleansing balm or a regular cleanser on my face, I will take some of this on a cotton pad and sweep it over my eyes or anywhere that I have mascara left over, which is usually just around my eyes, and it totally removes any trace of makeup. 
The pink one is the classic one, and I think the blue one is like the one for dry skin. Moving on to a couple makeup items, I picked up the Rimmel, wait, not Rimmel. I picked up the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is a ultimate wear, 16 hour wear concealer. Um, I have actually tried this before and it's a really super good concealer. I got the shade Fair. This is definitely one of those things that you can't get in the US, that's why I picked up two, just in case. It's a really like thick, rich concealer. Um, kind of reminds me of the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Pretty excited to use these, and Collection is like a drugstore brand, so these were not too expensive as well. Another thing that I found and was super excited to try was the Essence um, Snowflake Single Eyeshadow. I have tried this as an eyeshadow, but I actually picked it up as a highlighter. I've heard that this shade is like a perfect light shade for those of us on the fairer side. It's super beautiful. I'm actually wearing it today. So it might look a little bit frosty on people with slightly deeper skin tones, but sometimes if you have really fair skin, you will know this. Regular highlighters that work well on a lot of other skin tones tend to like leave a strip of whether it's gold, peach, or any other shade on the cheekbone or wherever you apply it. So it's kind of nice to have something that is that works for fair skin tones. And I picked two of these up too, and this was super cheap as well. I think this was like three euro or something, 2.99. A great deal. While I was at Boots, they were having a three for two sale, so I picked out a few of these Soap and Glory mini products. Now, I know you can get these like at Walgreens and other places in the US, but I think they were a little bit cheaper in Ireland. I picked up the Hand Food, which is one of my favorite Hand creams, I think I actually might have mentioned this in one of my first videos on YouTube a long time ago. It says it's a rose and bergamot scent. I think it smells a lot like Miss Dior Sherry perfume. Mmm, it's really nice. I picked up the hand cleansing gel, basically a little tiny hand sanitizer. Always good to have this when you're traveling. And the Soap and Glory Clean On Me shower gel in this mini size. I think this has kind of the same scent as the hand cream, but I've used this before and enjoyed it. I've got some more traveling coming up, so happy to have mini size items. The next item I picked up is a fragrance roller ball. This is from the company Yoganda Gra Yoganda. This is the sandalwood and frankincense fragrance. Mmm. This totally does not go with the scent of the hand cream at all. It's basically just like a fresh sandalwood and frankincense essential oil blend. Really nice. I tend to like these little rollerball essential oils to throw in my purse. Also kind of in the essential oil realm, I picked up this This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. So this is like a spray that you spritz on your... Ah, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep. It smells so good. It's like an essential oil blend. I think it is lavender, chamomile, and something else. Yeah, vetiver. Am I saying that right? I never know. But it smells amazing. It's like really natural, essential oil smelling, kind of earthy. And you're meant to spritz it on your pillow before going to sleep. And it's supposed to help you fall asleep, basically. Very calming. I don't usually have that much trouble falling asleep, but I do think it's a nice ritual for the end of the day. And the last thing is not a beauty item, but I figured I would throw it in there anyways. I got this one line a day, five year memory book journal. So you basically write like a tiny little entry every day going along the top of the journal for the first year. And then the next year you go to the next line down and so on and so on so that you can see what you did on that same day in the years past. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up with it. I don't know, it seems like a big responsibility to write something every day, but I think it'll be really fun to look back on if I do manage to finish the whole thing. So I think that's all I picked up in Ireland. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one.